it's been a minute since I actually uh, posted a video. Been very busy, and I should have been actually been recording some of my things, the projects I've been working on. Uh, Y'all see some of my inside of my house I've been building and everything. I'm working on my outside to finish that up. Uh, 5,600 square feet of my house I'm building. You see I sit on seven and a half acres of land. Still got a lot to finish up. Working on other projects. Uh, right now, I'm actually working on. No, it's hard to see my face. My camera won't um, switch over. Um, but um, been doing another addition to my house. Every time I uh, I get steady getting ideas as I go along with my house. So uh, as you can see now, I just did a, another addition to my house, uh, which will be an indoor pool area. And that right there is my bedroom, and I would have a deck coming off my bedroom. But before I finished the brick and the siding, I had to do the addition. Uh, I got my house zoned, uh, furnished downstairs and a furnished upstairs. Uh, you can control your heat be a lot better. And y'all know I'm in Michigan, so a lot of wind, and especially open land. So this is the addition I just built. Got it ready for shingles. Uh, got it ready for the brick. I'm going brick halfway up and then the rest. Uh, I got windows all throughout. I just don't have them all cut out yet. I'll show you that in the inside. Got my pool already. I already installed my pool and everything. Matter of fact, you can see this side because I don't have this side. Uh, OSB on there. So I have three windows, same on both sides because I want a lot of light and I still got to cut my skylights out over my pool area. So pay attention to the mess, but this is the in-ground pool here. It's already been in play and the hot tub sits over there. And what I did because, let me show you back here, I was right at the borderline of the windows. So what I did well, I would miss all my windows and stuff like that. I don't have to change my windows out upstairs. I just went with small walls and with scissor trusses. And that'll give me my height that I'm looking for in the middle, as you can see. And this is a patio door here. All this will be concrete for the uh, patio. And what I did, I installed a pool and it's um, 20 wide and uh, 24 long. As you see, it start off with three feet and then goes down to five feet. Just a lot of stuff in there. I'm gonna drain the pool and uh, put new water. All my pumps and stuff are sitting in my garage over there and they all running on the ground here. Um, there go another little filter kit for the pool. And stuff like that so and I'm gonna do a epoxy on the floor so what you do is sand the concrete down and then I don't know if y'all seen it on uh, Facebook or stuff like that with the shiny concrete with different designs and stuff what they call epoxy and I just got to cut my skylight scene here and everything so uh, this is my in-ground pool my indoor pool well in-ground pool in the indoors put it that way so we have plenty of room for the jacuzzi sits over there and we could throw all type of parties and it goes right into the main uh, entry of the house as well as you see you got three windows right there two windows right here and a door here and then you got the three windows and then once you get the two skylights on each side that'll help heat the pool as well you have plenty of light so I'll be able to throw a lot of pool parties out here. Uh, 
volley uh that's gonna be the volleyball court right there as you can see i have a lot of deers be coming up to my garage and everything because all the open field so i will post more videos